in May 2015. The concrete and construction industry will be changed forever. Make a date with innovation. Make a date for African construction and Totally Concrete Expo. printing or additive manufacturing has got the possibility to revolutionize the way that we manufacture things and also I think what makes it exciting is that it allows the designer to manufacture to be directly in control of the manufacturing process and I think what's also very important is the fact that through 3D printing one is able to customize which on a scale um, unknown before in the history of mankind. For example, when it comes to 3D printing, the idea of precast will become something completely obsolete. You are not going to be able to go and order precast elements from a factory. You are going to print it directly on site at a fraction of the cost because you don't have to have transportation costs, manufacturing costs, molds, having things precasted, waiting for it. The idea of printing buildings completely as an entity, in other words, where you can overlay your different programs, your electricity uh, requirements, your air conditioning requirements, your plumbing requirements, all your services, that that entire building can be printed as one element, which means that all the different trades, the boundaries between the different trades and the different specialities have to become diffused. We can see, for example, the way that um, if you look at the traditional construction method, say in concrete, where you would have a beam and a slab, which usually would be rectangular or round, there's a lot of material waste because if you look at the structural forces uh, in terms of bending forces and load forces, um, a beam does not necessarily have to be a rectangular element. It could maybe be more like a bow-shaped element, but the reason why we keep on constructing it that way is because of the casting and manufacturing processes. So what we can talk about here is we can talk about future new structural uh, prototypes evolving, which will be unlike anything that we know today. Um, buildings that might be more uh, organic. So there is a whole new generation of materials coming to the fore which are not only super strong but super efficient in a way that they can be manufactured. So for example cement polymers which uh, can perform and would have characteristics which are completely different from the traditional concrete or cementitious materials that we know today where you can start creating printable cement polymers which are flas flexible, which are el elastic, which can move and which can adapt according to the building as it changes over seasons, day and night, summer or winter, or even as the buildings age. We can now start looking at the way that 4D can play a role in a way that the building elements, the building materials itself, can respond in a proactive way. In other words, we're talking about intelligent building materials. For example, buildings that might be able to repair themselves, uh, buildings that might be able to change form and shape according to changing needs. And those are futuristic but very exciting possibilities.